Hi guys, it's Elise. I just wanted to kind of update you on my currently inked. A few things have changed and it's almost the middle of the month so I thought now would be a good time. I definitely have more pens than I did when I started. Um, I think I have one, two, three more and then I switched the ink in one of them. But everything's been going really well so far. I'm almost out of this ink which was the Diamine Honey Burst and Lion. There's only a little bit left. That was like a, it's a really wet combo and I've been using it a lot just because I love the happy yellow color. And then also uh, Vinta Carnival, I've been using a lot and loving as well. I wonder if I can find a quick little, um, here, there's some of that and I've just been loving that. Um, everything else I'm loving as well. There's nothing that I want to unink in here. I'm just really happy with everything. So that's cool. Oh, I'm almost out of this as well. The um, Robert or Roar and Klingner Cassia. So I switched a couple things around. The first thing is in the Sailor, I had Suki Gokuro, um, which was a Sailor ink. And I really was enjoying that. But um. I wasn't finding myself reaching for the color as much just because it's a very kind of not spring color, I guess we'll say. Not that there's any color that can't be used in spring, but I've just been wanting like a little bit of brighter colors and I just didn't find myself reaching for it. And for how much I love and want to use this pen, um, I wanted to ink it with something else. So I put a red ink in here and I stained it, I think. It looks like it got somehow in between the casing of this section here. And I even took the nib and feed out and I tried to like flush it out with water and I can't. So I'm bummed about that, but hopefully over time it'll just go away, I guess. It's not that big of a deal, but just a little bummed. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... In here, I have um, a combo, which I wasn't intending to do a combo, but I didn't like the first one that was in here. So I first put KWZ Maroon, and that is typically a darker ink, but I think because this nib is so fine, it was just coming out like a lot brighter red, which was not what I wanted. So then I added a little bit of Diamine writer's blood which is like a deep dark reddish leaning purple um and I do like this color actually it looks a lot like ox blood if I'm being completely real and I did have that inked up last month so I don't know I mean I think I'll reach for this more than I did the other color that was in here so um it's also very wet and a good a good ink combo for this pen just because it has such a fine nib um so yeah, I heard that this is actually the correct translation for this pen is full moon, not famous moon. So I'm just going to put full moon, even though it's listed as famous moon on um, Amazon. You guys tell me, can I get this out? How do I get it out? I'm, I'm upset about that. <laughs> and this too, I mean, that just kind of looks like water, but this looks like it's stained red on the inside. So if there's a way, let me know. I don't have one of those like sonic cleaners or whatever the heck those are. But yeah, otherwise I love this pen so much. It is so beautiful and it's still writing so well. Does this look like it's stained to you or is that just how it is? I guess that's just how it is. Anyways, okay. Um, the next thing was I had KWZ uh, Green Gold 2 in here, but... Um, the skipping was starting to get to me. It wasn't actually skipping, it was hard starting. So I wondered if I changed the ink, if it would be better. Um, I think maybe just a more saturated ink is better for this pen because it was also getting like a ton of shading. Like there would be more ink on the bottom of the stroke than there would at the top of the stroke. And that's fine, but I just didn't like it. I don't know. I can't see how much like shading there was in there and that's fine. That's good. I like shading and it's a pretty color. I don't know. I just felt like maybe it wasn't the right ink for this pen, even though it's a very wet ink. So I'm not sure exactly why, but I still wanted to use that ink because I love it. So I put it in my trusty Lamy Safari 
with a cursive nib. And I'm really enjoying it in here. Um, so yeah. This is just a more consistent color um, lay down, I guess, in the line strokes. So I think there is something about this nib that it just, in the downstroke, it's not putting down as much ink until you get to the bottom of the downstroke. And I just, I don't know, I just don't like that. So anyways, I thought, uh, let me put a really saturated ink in here so that that probably would not show up or matter. And I was wanting another brown in my lineup. So I put one of my very favorite browns, which is Ferris Wheel Press Beaver Dam Brown. And this is just such a great, reliable, wet ink, very saturated. I like that it's like a, it has like a purple undertone to it. Um, yeah. So I do really like that and that looks good to me and I like the way that it's writing. Interestingly, it has not hard started so far. I just inked it up with this. Um, it has not hard started so far. I can't imagine that it was the ink though because this ink is just as wet as this ink. So I'm not really sure what was going on there. Um, but yeah. So then I also saw this pen on What Up TV. I think that's how, it, I think that's what her channel name is. Um, and she has this inked this month and I just saw this pen and I was like, I have to have it. It's so cute. I don't have any pens like this that have like a decoration on it, but this is just so me. It's just like such a happy little pen. <laughs> it's metal. So it's, it does have a little bit of weight to it, but it's not too heavy by any means. I would say it probably feels like a Pilot Metropolitan, maybe a little bit lighter. Um, so this is a fun little combo, little spring combo. So this is Colorverse. Um, it's the Joy in the Ordinary series and it's called Rainy Day. Um, this is a Hong Dian C1, I believe. And it's called daisies. Even if you just look up Hong Dian daisies, you'll find it because that's how I found it. Um, and this has a fine nib and it's a really good nib. Um, I think this ink might be slightly dry for this because sometimes it also has hard starts. But for the most part, it's really good. It's really not an issue. Um, not as much as the green gold was in the other pen. So yeah, I am really, really loving this. This just brought so much joy when I opened it and, um, I'm just so excited to have this and it was only $15. So you don't need to buy expensive pens to get a lot of joy out of them. Not that anybody said you did, but I'm just speaking to myself. Like I've been on this kick of like wanting to now have all the gold nibs and it's like, Elise, okay, calm down. You first of all, don't have the funds for that. And second of all, you don't need that because this little cheap pen made you just as happy. <laughs> so speaking of gold nibs, I do have this new one. Um, this is the last pen I'll be buying and it was just a really good deal. And <laughs> let me continue to justify this with my story. Um, I was going to get the platinum three, seven, seven, six, but it was double the price. I did end up ordering it. Um, and I did not like it. I, I think it had a baby's bottom nib where it just was doing a lot of hard starts and just was like unpleasant. And it was just such a disappointment for, you know, what that pen is supposed to be and just how much it was. I mean, by no means that I pay like a ton and ton of money. Like I know that platinums go for way more than what I paid, but I was like, I just don't want to, I don't want to have this pen for the hassle that it's causing. So then I was looking on Amazon and I saw this, which is the Sailor Pro Fit 1911 standard. And it was $73. It was the same price as the other Pro Gear, but this has an actual medium nib, not a medium fine. And I've been dying to try a Sailor medium nib that's a gold nib. And this is a 14 karat gold nib. 
So this looks, if you've ever seen a Sailor Fashion, like the $30 ones, the body is like nearly identical in shape and size. Um, forgive my super inky <laughs> hands. But um, yeah, it's nearly identical to that. Uh, this is the cream, or it's called Ivory, actually. Um, and it's the standard size. It's not the Profit Light or the Profit Junior. It's the Profit Standard. Um, and it's beautiful. And it looks a lot like the Platinum that I was going to get. I was going to get the white one. Um, but yeah. So, and I just cannot say enough good things about this nib. I am in love with it. I think this is my new favorite pen. It's just, wow. I am blown away. As much as I was blown away by the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, I'm even more blown away by this um, because it's just so wet, so smooth. I love the medium nib on here. All right, stop yapping. So this is uh, Robert Oster, Sydney Darling Harbor. Plus Diamine. Twilight. So it's like 95% Sydney Darling Harbor and like a few drops of Twilight. And doesn't it just sound lovely? And look how thick that line is. Like I was expecting it to be a lot thinner for a sailor. Like I thought the medium would be like a Western fine, but this actually compares to some of my Western mediums. And I definitely think there could be a size in between this medium fine and this medium, <laughs> but I still love it. It's so smooth. It's so wet. It feels amazing. I'm just, wow, like blown away. So So the S is for standard, and it's the Profit um, Ivory with a medium nib. Yeah, I could not be happier with this. And I think with the Fashine and the other Sailor Shikiori, like the $30 one, I think you could just like uh, interchange the nib section if you wanted to like change up the body because they really do all look the same. Um, which is cool if I ever want to give it a change of outfit, but I love this color. I love this ivory and gold. It's so beautiful. I do think I like the body of the Pro Gear Slim better. Like I like the flat top and end, um, and I like that it's a little bit wider, but this is like so comfortable and the medium nib is just insane. I just, I'm so, so, so happy with it. So those are my changes to my lineup. Um, Everything else is going great. Let me know what you think. Do you like this pen? Eee, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Thank you for watching.